So I bought this shed, must be about three years ago now, with the plans to turn it into a workshop. So I have started those plans and this video is to give you a really kind of staggered look at what it started off as and what I hopefully turn it into. So let's check things out. So I'll show you some uh, other video, or other pictures I should say, that kind of showed some of the progress so far. I'm at this state now where it's still round full of stuff, because I need to sort out the storage. Um, but I started to insulate the door. Um, I'd insulated all of this uh, one wall, and you can see I've put the OSB boards up. That's still a work in progress. Um, but the plan is that in here, obviously I still have room to store the the bikes and everything, but a dedicated side, it's kind of a workshop side uh, where I have my drill press and saws and all the tools and everything. So this video is just to kind of document a bit of that um, progress, um, show you some of the things that I'm using. Um, I'm going to set up the Anchor Soundcore Boost in here now. I've got the day off to try and make some progress. <laughs> Okay, so I managed to clear a little bit of room to get inside. So I'll just show you kind of some of the things that have kind of happened in this uh, process. So, like I said, you can't see behind this OSB right now, um, but you will see the overlay video where this insulation is here. I use this, let me just uh, get it here. It's AirTech double kind of fil um, film insulation type of stuff. It's basically, pockets of air with double-sided um, foil over it so it should retain and reflect the heat. I have noticed a big difference. I also um, use expanding foam uh, across all of the area on both sides to stop um, the wind and everything getting in. There's still enough uh, airflow. I uh, also ran uh, some power uh, in from the garage so they have a dedicated fuse board in there. Um, so run some power off uh, into this waterproof um, socket here um, with a 32 amp uh, fuse breaker. Uh, and I run a couple of extension leads um, off of here um, just to power the, the tools and everything. I'm gonna put an echo in here as well for um, the music and everything whilst I'm working in here. Um, and so this is the plan is that this side will be Kind of the workshop type of side. I bought um, a few tables um, from IKEA, I think they're the Linmon ones. So you buy the legs and the tabletop, and all together it's like £16 a table. So three of those um, should do the job. Um, so yeah, I'll um, clear a bit more room. Let's see if I can get a bit more film put in. It's um, snowing today. Uh, well, that's going to work. Um, so not really easy to chuck all the stuff outside, but I need to try and make some room so I can try and make some progress. Right, so I'm going to have to halt progress now. The snow's getting worse and uh, it's just not a good idea to be using power tools outside right now. Um, so what I've done this morning is wired in this LED strip light so obviously I can mount that on the ceiling at some point uh, when this is all finished. I've boarded I'll start the board the other side of the door here. Um, we will see the insulation stuff on the inside. So I'm gonna put some battens in there just to, to fill it out a little bit. And uh, put a single layer of the insulation on the other door. So that's where we are. Uh, bit of a shame on a day off that we get this stupid snow in the UK. Maybe things clear up a little bit. Um, I can come back later, but as you can see, I kind of have to put everything back in here again, uh, and I can't just slide the wood out and put it on the grass to cut everything. So, wait for a drier day and uh, some free time. I hope we can make some progress. So I've moved some stuff out of the shed 
um, into the garage. So I've moved the Twizy out um, so I can hopefully make a little bit of progress in the evening. Obviously I can't do much cutting because it's probably going to be too noisy. Uh, but I thought I'd show you kind of where things are. Um, so this whole side is done now. Um, and I've made uh, progress on the other side. So you can see half the door is done, the other half isn't. This side wall is all the way down um, to just past halfway. So I decided to cover up the window. So I did some tests uh, in the daytime. Because there's a wall there, um, it lets really hardly any light in, so it's not worth it. It makes more sense to have it warmer. Um, I think this LED light, once it's properly mounted, will do a better job uh, for lighting anyway. So I've, I've insulated and covered up the windows. Um, and then this last piece here um, is ready to go into that last gap down the end. Um, I just measured up, I need to uh, cut off a few, uh, a few inches there. So obviously I have to wait until a, a dry day to do that, and that should slot in. Then I've just been cutting um, these beams down here. So these are gonna go on the floor. So I need four of those uh, at, at minimum. I need to see actually, um, I may have to put more in. Uh, it depends how springy uh, the floor is going to be. So I've done four to start with. Uh, and then basically I'll insulate um, one third of the floor, put down the beams, and then we'll see if it's too springy um, to stand, if it's going to take you know the weight of humans and tools and everything, and then we can adjust uh, from there. One thing I have noticed, and I thought this might have been the case, um, I had some of the kids um, kind of tents uh, in here, at the weekend when I was clearing some stuff out, I noticed that there was lots of holes in there um, and basically it looked like you know, our hamster had been in here, which obviously it hasn't. So I assume that there's some mouse or, or there has been a mouse in here or, some, or something. And I've noticed tonight that if I look really closely here, I don't know where this can be seen, little droppings. So I think I have someone else living here with me in the workshop now. I've been in here all different times. I've cleared out stuff at the back before. I've never seen anything, so I don't know if they come in here or out. And there's, I know there's a, a shed load of bird seed that's dropped out over the back there. So maybe that's um, what they're doing. So I didn't really know what to do really because I just don't want to kill the little thing. Um, but I've got one of these humane mousetrap things. Um, so we're going to give that a go and I mean hopefully they're no longer here and they just are making a passing trip where we've got nothing to worry about. What I don't want to do is obviously as I board, board everything up I'm filling in every single possible hole where, where they may or may not have got in from uh, so I don't want to get them trapped somewhere. Um, and they probably live, or well, they did live, if they, if they didn't anymore, in the, in the field out the front. So I'm going to set this trap up tonight and we'll see if um, there's anything in there the next day or so. Um, I'll obviously check it every day, a couple of times a day, and then uh, if there's a little field mouse in there we can let them back out into the field. So yes, I don't think I'm going to be able to do any more um, tonight. The plan is to Hopefully at the weekend if the weather's better because I'm going to be away uh, later in this week. Get this board out and cut, put that in the end, see if I can um, do this one bit of flooring uh, down here to see how that's going to work out. Then uh, I've got some time off I think next week. I've got a day off so hopefully if the weather's not too bad. I see that's something I might do. I might measure up the gaps in the ceiling. Um, so I can cut some joists ready for when I put this new roof on. I need somewhere to, for the nails to come down for. So uh, I might do that um, before calling it a night. If it's, uh, it's nearly nine o'clock there, so it might be a bit too, uh, too late for sawing. Because this saw here, it's quite noisy. So yeah, 
there you go. Um, we're now transitioning to the next update. Maybe there's a mouse, maybe the ceiling's in. Who knows? Um, the only thing I'm not sure about is I've got this little solar light. It's been in here since it was well, a little shed. Um, and it gives off a little bit of light, but obviously I'm not going to need it um, with the new light and everything that I'm putting in. So I need to decide if I'm going to rip that out or keep it in as like a, a backup. It's solar powered, so it is handy to have it. Perhaps I might move, relocate it um, to just over the door or something. That might be a handy idea. So yes, catch you uh, in the next transition. workshop and I caught that little mouse there he is so I'll uh, time to let him out in the field finished yet but it's close enough I think that we're finish up this uh, episode of the shed to workshop build um, so as you can see behind me still need to mount the light properly but pretty much apart from a good sort out needed uh, ceiling is now finished I just put up some uh, storage uh, to store wood flooring is done put the heater up in the corner and the power um, as you can see here this is how I did the ceiling so with just my hands and my head and trying to somehow get screws up my mouth and everything to um, mount the uh, the ceiling uh, I've managed to manage to get it done so I'm quite pleased that I managed to get all that stuff done uh, on my own and uh, no more mice Um, I, I found, I can't remember if I mentioned this in the video already, I found uh, a whole family of mice living in my trainers um, and they kept on coming back I think through, uh, the, there was a gap um, down the door there and um, I think they were getting through um, so I caught them and I drove them out five miles away to a, another set of woods and uh, let them out there and uh, they don't seem to have be able to come back yet so that's good so I'm just gonna finish up out here, um, do some work tonight. I've just done a test print on my 3D printer of a door handle. Uh, I need to 
I've got some new PLA uh, that I'm going to try out, but uh, I'm going to put that uh, on the door over here to make it easier to uh, open and close it. I've ordered some bolts um, that I can use to, to lock the, the one side down and this one when I'm in here. And yeah, I'm really happy with kind of how this has come out so far. Obviously I do some follow-up videos once I've got everything uh, finished up. But the plan is that this side here, all along here, is going to be uh, the work area. So this uh, area, because it's close to the door, um, will be where any wood cutting happens. The circular saw and everything will be here. Drill press uh, is going to go in the middle here. Then I'm going to have an old laptop uh, and everything uh, here, so further away from the door, just to help keep things warmer. On this, on these shelves, I will basically put um, some, uh, you know, some different equipment, power tools, and obviously gardening stuff. Um, then, excuse me, barbecue, etc. will go here, and the bikes will go here, and. Yeah, then I think everything will be pretty good. I've, got, I've still got a few bits to um, finish off. Um, so a little cut out up here needs to be done. This is a solar power light that I had in here before. So just if there's any power problems, this I've got a, a backup light. This is where my smart things sense needs to go on the door when it's finished. Um, I finally mounted this uh, old Honeywell heater that I've had for a while. It kicked out a good amount of heat. Got my uh, Anchor Soundcore Boost uh, down there, obviously along with my Alexa. And yeah, so I'm looking forward to doing a few more videos uh, from this space uh, and doing some projects. Hope this video uh, was of some interest to show, you know. It's been kind of a rough day. Just kidding. I'm great, and thank you for asking. I don't know what she's talking about. Um, so yeah, I think it's good. Um, to see the conversion from basically the dumping shed to uh, a half dumping uh, workshop. Hopefully we get this finished off uh, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all finished. Um, I am going to use this area to store some boxes still so I've got my Roland V-Drum boxes there. Um, I've got some old tyres off the Twizzy that I'm going to fit in the corner. Um, and I picked up a, a replacement uh, Titan uh, vacuum because my uh, Kartra one decided it wasn't going to live any longer. Um, but yeah, perhaps you've done a similar thing. Uh, if you've got any questions, um, I'd love to do my best to answer them. It's OSB, two board everywhere, um, and I use this. Um, what is it called? I think I mentioned it already. This is the insulation. Um, that I used on here. So yeah, I think I just finished up the video with uh, a big thank you to two people. First one, my mate Ed, who you've seen in videos before, he helped me um, do two things. One is help me with his truck to get all these massive OSB boards uh, in there. So I couldn't have done that uh, in my car. And also he helped me identify this much thinner uh, insulation, which made it um, a little bit easier to put up. And uh, Andy Kirby as well, who's a fo fellow uh, uh, Twizy owner. He, um, I saw in his shed workshop, he had the ISB board and that's what um, made me decide to get it. I thought it was going to be more expensive um, than just um, plywood is what I was originally going to use. Um, but I worked out I could do it all for pretty much the, a similar cost to the, the plywood. So it has been really expensive. Uh, well, comparatively so, so probably around 500 to 600 pounds, I would say. Um, obviously not including the shed, I had that already. Um, and the main reason for that was around 200 odd, maybe 250 pounds, nearly half of it probably went on redoing the roof um, with the OSB, uh, not the OSB, um, the Onduline uh, bitumen roofing material. Um, because this, the roof kept on leaking, I have refelted it a few times. Um, I'm still not quite sure why it, it's been leaking, but um, it's been raining a lot lately and that new roof is working uh, superbly, so I'm really happy with that. Um, and then the rest was just obviously the cost of insulation and so much 
um, uh, wood and as, as you can see I've still got some spare stuff I've got some more wood uh, left over here um, so yeah I, I can use that for some other projects so excellent um, so yes thanks for watching I hope this is helpful if you've got um, shed workshop type setups I'd be really interested in seeing them and uh, if you like this video please do so please leave comments please subscribe and please share thank you thanks for watching this video a thumbs up would be really appreciated if you're interested in other geek type videos please consider subscribing to spectrum geeks why not also follow us on facebook instagram and twitter and before you leave why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest thanks again for watching